I noticed that all these comedians are really good um, good at drama. Like Jim Carrey, I think, is one of them, you know? Yeah, that I guy. always thought he was like, I mean, no matter how over the top he is, he's always so honest and believable, you know? I think that's why Dumb and Dumber is like one of my mm. all-time favorite movies. <laughs> There's people that I meet like that still haven't seen that. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, but, you need to walk away from those people. Yeah. That's how you know that, yeah. that they're not going to be good for they're you not in your life. In my life. No. Yeah. So how's stuff? been auditioning a lot I, th I feel like every actor has this where like they go to they always have that one audition where they just like oh my god I, I really suck I was literally in the room and there was a thought that came to my head and I was like wow I think I should just tell her like you know what I'm so sorry I'm just not gonna do this I was literally gonna tell her that but something inside of me said no you're doing it like, I'm just gonna take her like direction and go for it and that's it. And mm -hmm. I did. And then I walked out and I'm like, she's probably never going to call me again. I literally oh, walked yeah, out no. of that room. Yeah. And I was like, I don't even know, like, if I'm doing the right thing anymore. Yeah. Like, I don't even know <laughs> if I should reconsider my career. Awesome. And then I get a call and they're like, hey, they want to uh, pin you for this. What? <laughs> I'm pinned for this job that I thought I sucked at? Like, I literally thought of reconsidering my career. Wow. And it feels like the choice to step into that bold unknown is around this idea that I'm good. Yeah. And I deserve this. There's so many reasons why you're going to or not going right. to get a job. And, and, and so little of it has to do with you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 